I feel like I should be able to destroy this. Oh, maybe these are like ice blocks? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Oh my god, this the squeaky the, uh, other doors. Practice for the real thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what were we saying about good game? <laughs> uh, Railing into my it. My main point about it is that, is that it has gotten better since the first two episodes. Yeah. Which I'm happy with. I, I think I've been enjoying it more. Wait, unless. As it's gotten, as it's gone longer. Oh, I see. Then, dude, the th third episode was the first time I actually laughed at a joke. <laughs> that's kind of sad the fourth episode I enjoyed more because I felt like they were just I, I felt like they had gotten past the establishment phase and had, or the exposition phase and have now gotten up to let's just have fun with this but I think it should have always been that way the first episode I uh I, I, I had some giggles it, yeah. I didn't laugh out loud but I giggled a couple of times yeah. are you up here no, um, saying, yeah. if it's not toilet humour I'm not going to laugh uh, okay Fart jokes. Right. Thing thing. Yeah. Highbrow stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I'm yeah, no, there were bits and bobs. I can't remember any of them, so that, you know, it says a lot on its own. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, I think what this is, is, by the way, this boat is like a combination of all three of the different <coughs> um, fruit abilities. So you got explosive, you got fire and ice. So that's kind of cool. I think the first episode is exposition. The second episode is like the groups f fighting amongst themselves, mm. and the third episode is when you don't start. You don't do the group fighting in like it's episode two generally. You do that like near the end. So yeah, when it, so when the stakes are high and exactly. you're like, holy shit! And what's then they the, and then they've got to come back for the grand finale. But it, it's not a big deal if you've only I mean, just what, started. I can't like blame people for um, having the a different go. writing methods. Like whatever, mm. man. Twist their own. Oh, that actually works. Um, I gotta get in here somehow, and I don't know uh how. -huh. Hmm. I can't stop this. I gotta. Just gotta see it through. Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna assume there's like a button or something I'm missing. Uh, the red thing over there. Like maybe I can shoot that? Uh, nope, not that. This. Uh, okay. Didn't really... Maybe you can't get through? I should be able to. At the very least, I reckon I can shoot down. Is that wall connected to anything? I mean, I can get and turn back into a me and stuff, but it clearly wants me to get in there as the boat. Yeah, so yeah, that, that big ice thing in there, I got a flamethrower to death. Mm. So there's got to be like a button around, maybe at the back, where it's like... I press it and it'll lower the thing. I don't know. Just guessing. Mm. Or just, I don't like... Yeah, yes, I'm correct. Okay. My biggest criticism about Good Game is that if it was just, um, if they played it down, it probably would have been less critically re received. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I just, I just think that, like, it's a, yeah, it's a classic example of the Game Grumps weren't nece like uh, necessarily a part of its creation like almost at all mm. you know they some they agreed some to other, have their likenesses some other group of people I think that Dan Harmon was asked to join it because it really doesn't seem like something he would make on his own no it doesn't um, seem to have anything I think that any yes, of the qualities that it had. I think it was Jesse Cox's idea mainly yeah and I don't know much about Jesse Cox I don't like follow him in any regard or apparently anything. he's an esports person okay well they great <laughs> yeah. good for him it's not my point though what I'm trying yeah. to say is like I don't know about his thing but it seems like he made the show right mm -hmm. concepted it and everything maybe I think someone else maybe like the, the, yeah and um got it oh yeah you did it wow I'm glad I stopped talking for that though oh Whee. ugh okay that was kind of a fun one hmm you're boat. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. This whole level is just charming. Now I think that's like the first level over there, so I don't know. They're just first. taking transformations to a whole new level with this. Yeah. Helicopter, truck, spaceship. Yeah, Banjo Kazooie, the best transformation you can get was a washing machine. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> um huh. Is there oh there's something over there, maybe? I don't know what else to do with this boat. <laughs> Um, this world doesn't actually look as big as the other ones. 
It looks like there's like three islands. Well, I should be looking at the screen in the corner because like, it's brighter. Mm. I don't know about that, but um, but yeah. So he Jesse Cox made it. He he managed to get um, Dan Harmon on it. He managed to get the Gang Grumps on it. And the Gang Grumps were like, "Yeah, we'll advertise it, sure." You know, so it's on, like being posted on the channel and all that kind of stuff. It's not being posted on the channel. They've, it's um, being advertised on it for sure. Yeah, Look at these fucking creepy. They ass put the first two episodes up on their channel, um, oh, for free, and episode. And since then, it's just popped up on YouTube Red whenever a new one comes out. Yeah. And then they re- they also release their um three D or three sixty degrees, um let's watch video. Yeah. That they show the show Which is their like favorite just moments. advertising for it. Yeah. Well, the, the biggest deal about YouTube Red Ooh. is that you actually get paid money to make the thing and you, it gets funded. Yeah. So you can actually make really good stuff and the potential is okay. obviously there. So this is what I was going to say earlier as well, is that um, hmm. if I was to make a YouTube Red show, I've already got an idea of what I want to make, right? Yeah. And I want to put work and passion and like everything into it, right? Yeah. Because I would want to make it quality. You know, yeah. I feel like there are so few YouTube Red shows that actually feel like good in any regard. No I one set the standard. The best, the best one that I've heard so far is um, the Vsauce one. Uh, oh I haven't watched it myself because I don't have YouTube Red. Um, ah, jeez, I'm sorry about all the noises, folks. This is what happens when we record at my house. Uh, oh my God, we got a dog barking. We got a dog at the door. We got a brother walking in and out of rooms. Oh, it's anarchy. Mm. This world looks really barren. Yeah. Of, well, you're just in the great open seas. I wonder, thing. like, I gotta expand it. This is the thing. Ah, oh, there's gonna be more islands. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Cram jam pack. You never know what's gonna happen when you expand a world. This room is really warm. You can turn off the heater if you want. Mm. You are also wearing cold. a jacket. Okay, yeah, I'm just. <laughs> I'll, I'll show my aim shit. Wow. I'm not actually wearing You're not wearing an aim shit? I am wearing an aim shit. Uh, yeah. I feel like if we ever, if uh, Frank ever um, reached his ability to, uh, if we started recording aim stuff again, then we'd get a new logo hmm. and new shirts and everything and that's send a, one to Frank. That's an idea. What? So that's an idea. It is an idea. Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, I guess that's all I can do with the boat for the time being. I'm assuming that I'm gonna, I can do something in, like, more um, places and stuff will open up. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Hopefully I won't die immediately. Okay, thank God. <laughs> okay. I, I was just... I've been under the assumption that if I jump into that, I will die. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> um, get out of here, weird brain monsters things. Um, yeah, so I actually, so I have an idea of what I'd want to do for a YouTube Red Show, and I would like, the idea is like, I want to make, um, can I really not, I gotta grab the other pieces, uh, I want to make a YouTube Red Show, um, like, yeah, I, I want to make a show, and then be approached and say, hey, you want to make it? And I'd be like, yes, I already have an idea, I know what I'm going to make, well, I know that's what it's going to be um, about. MatPat did from Game Theory. You know, do you know, have I told you my idea of what I wanted it to be? Because I'm pretty no. sure we've discussed it. The, the, uh, the Finding Frank series. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant, like, if you did, like, as an individual, you did one. Oh, if I did one as an individual, I don't know what I would do, honestly. I only, I've, I've only been thinking of the aim regarding... Well, yeah. Well, I, I feel like I would do, like, um, Aim Industries origin story. I thought uh, you get actors to play yourself, mm. you, and you would just kind of recreate uh, what it was like, but maybe add a few twists and uh, things like that. Maybe. Because maybe. I feel like yeah. it shows because we came up with it when we were we were fifteen years old, and I feel <laughs> and people yeah. seem to downplay people's ideas when they're kids. This uh, this is a bad badly designed puzzle. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is that was very bad. <laughs> it's so like why? I don't know. Maybe there's like an extra twist. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yet. Um, no, I like my, I uh, personally I'd go with the the Finding Frank thing just because like I reckon it'd be an interesting like r- like written part of the story 
Or well, like it's already got a, it's already got a background and story. Yeah, exactly. Like, but what I, I would make, but I'd, so what I do is like I make it. Um, okay, I'm just gonna. That's, that's gonna happen. Then. Oh, I think I. Can. But yeah, you can easily come up with would, good ideas for where you can yeah. take it. But we, but I'd be writing. For, we'd be writing for ourselves, you know, mm. and we can make like exaggerated versions of ourselves. 